Please welcome Jerry Kelly. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Good evening and welcome to Kelly at the end of what has certainly been an historic week. Pope John Paul II was of course buried this morning and a little later in the programme we'll be going live to Rome to talk to Paul Clark about the events of the day. Tomorrow then again Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles are getting married at last and on top of that Tony Blair is called a general election. So all in all it's been quite a week. And it's also been an important week for my first guest because just last night her new film not only opened this year's Belfast Film Festival, it also got its UK premiere. Known to millions of fans the world over for playing music with the rest of her family, she seems equally happy with acting. The film is called The Boys and Girl from County Clare. Would you please welcome the very beautiful Andrea Carr. Hello. Hi, Come on. How did the premiere go last night? It was great. It was really fantastic. It was good to do it here because this is where we spent the time working, so um, it was really good. Well, you see, it's called The Boys and Girl from County Clare. Mm -hmm. and you were nowhere I'm near one of the County boys. Yeah. <laughs> and you were nowhere near County Clare. No, I know. Where was the shot? We shot it mostly on the Antrim coast and the Isle of Man. Um, so, yeah. But it looks like Claire. <laughs> you see, Claire has gotten modern and this had to be 70s, so... It's, uh, relatively, it's a very simple story. It's the story of two rival Cayley bands mm -hmm. run by two brothers. One comes from Liverpool and across the play. But there's more to it than that. There's, there's nice underground plots. Yeah, well, b basically, there's rivalry between these brothers and it looks, on the surface level, it's music, but it's a much deeper story. And um, basically, my character... Yeah, um, it's very much to do with her relationship with her mother. She's mm -hmm. very protected by her, and um, it's kind of a coming of age story for her in that her history and her past is not at all what her mother led her to believe. So, um, and also she falls in love and those things. Well, we'll see in action. It's just a little clip from it. It's towards the end of the of the film when, uh, for all intents and purposes, you're leaving for Liverpool. That's right. I'm going to England with Teddy. Don't do this out of punishment. I don't care about her. I don't believe that for a second. Well, you'll have to find another fiddle player. Find him. Wait. See if you can do something about Jimmy's... your father's fiddle playing. He's still inclined to speed up on the change orbs. That's all you ever think about. Music. Well, when you've got the music, you've got friends for life. That's why I'm never lonely. Remember that. There you are with the, with the great Bernard Hill there. There were some great performances, not only from yourself, but Bernard Hill, Colin Meany was mm -hmm. tremendous, and Sean Evans was, was tremendous. How did you feel going in working with seasoned professionals like this? I was, I was nervous. I mean, I was very passionate about the script and I loved it. I, I felt it was, it was very true and reflective of Irish nature in that as soon as it's about to make you cry, it makes you laugh instead, yeah, that's you know. True. And, um, but I was, I was nervous. Um, I was excited to work with Colm again because, you know, he, he was my dad before. In, in the commitments? In the commitments, yes. yes. <laughs> and, um, but I, I was nervous about about getting in with with everybody else. I mean, purely for, purely for the reasons that I highly respect them, and I, I really did not want them to think that I was um, presumptuous and thought, you know, here, here they have been working at this job for all their lives, and I just suddenly think I can come and do it easy. Yeah, it's just because you're one of the cores yeah, or whatever. You had to no, earn your spurs to. to I be did in. have to yes. earn it. I had to audition for it and and, and win, and win their so favour. So it wasn't handed. The the the, the, the part wasn't handed no. to you. You did audition like everybody else. Yes, did. absolutely. Yeah. Did you feel the pressure on you because? Because it was your first major role. Mm -hmm. You play a big part. And the other bits where you did a Vita with, with Madonna and the mm -hmm. commitments, there, there were small parts. Yes. This one, you're the one of the central characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but in that way, it's, you've got a, a very much a three-dimensional character to, 
to bring to life in a way because she has quite a she's quite a journey throughout it whereas I think it's kind of almost can be harder to just come on and do a couple of lines because mm -hmm. you kind of got to make it all up in your own head and then you're gone before before you were there but um, I just I found the character so truly written and I really believed everything that that Anne said and I, I felt I could relate to it so and Charlotte Bradley who played my mother it was very important our relationship and she was so amazing to work with and a wonderful actress. So. Did it remind you of your own relationship with your, with your own mother in any way? You sadly died. Yeah, it, it somehow brought things, um, like I found that, you know, because obviously Anne leaves her mother in this and, and is, is very angry at her and obviously was very well brought up as well because she's quite selfish and I think anybody who remains selfish that long was well brought up. Mm. Um, but. Yeah, so I think the whole idea of leaving my mother really did strike me. Where does this leave the, the singing now? Is this a new passion? Is this what you're going to continue with? Or does the music still what you really want to do? I, don't, I will always do music. I think um, I have always wanted to do this. It isn't, it isn't a new passion. Um, I just haven't. Music has been all-consuming, and, and for the right reasons. I have no regrets. Yeah. But I would like to be able to have both. And have the rest of the family seen the film? They saw it last night. What did they think of it? They loved it. They mm -hmm. were really, really complimentary, and, and Daddy, Daddy particularly loved it. Because, I bet he did. Yeah, and, and, and Jim and, and Sharon, they, they really did. They loved it. Talking about uh, Sean Evans, who plays your romantic mm -hmm. lead in, in the film, I dare say you thought he was very well cast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did the script writers calling himself Emma Woodhouse from Jane Austen, mm -hmm. things because <laughs> he thinks he's a matchmaker now. So, but like, from, from the film, the two of you are sort of hooked up? Yeah. Is, that, is there still a hook there? Are you still seeing it? Yeah, yes, yeah, we're still together. So he was well cast, yeah. It was very well cast, yeah. Uh, again, talking about pressure, you must be under pressure as well, girl, because uh, both sisters are married now. <laughs> and you've reached the age of 30. Oh, yes. I'm, go I'm going past it very soon, in a month. <laughs> I've reached it and said goodbye nearly. You're not feeling the pressure, are you, of having to get married or things like that? No. No, are you asking? You're <laughs> oh, married. <no. laughs> Well, my wife, Helena, would understand if I divorced just to marry you, and she would understand, I'm quite, I'm quite sure. What difference has it made with, with Sharon and Caroline being married to the cars? There must have been a change in, in your attitude or in, or in what you wanted to do as, as a family group. Everything happens so kind of gradually that it's very, very hard to stand outside it and, and see a dramatic difference. Um, we worked so intensively. We had we had never had time off, and it was um, it was very difficult. And I, I don't look back and regret it, but I do think that we did need to take things a little easier mm -hmm. and to try and find some kind of a life outside it, which is which I suppose is love and, and marriage and children. So, um, but but we all wanted to work. We're all very passionate about music, and and you know having babies doesn't take that away. It, well, it, 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 well, it means touring is 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 much more difficult. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sure that you know Caroline doesn't want to leave the two babies no. back at home. Well, she she was amazing actually because um, on our last tour last year she um, she was pregnant and Anne was touring um, and leaving Jake. She was pregnant with Georgina, and it was the most difficult part of it was mm. was leaving Jake and, and coming back to her. I mean, it, it it hurt her. You know what I mean? Like I suppose, but it does hurt every mother when they have to kind of combine two lives and everything mm. like that. So it is, it, it was difficult for her. So there was but she's glad she did it. I'm sure, but there was a four year gap between two albums there, mm. wasn't there? Why such a long time between two albums? Because we're bone lazy. No. <laughs> <I'm definitely> Be <laughs> <laughs> because uh, um, we did a lot of stuff during that time in those four years. I did this film, Caroline got pregnant, had the baby, Sean got married, Caroline got married. Um, and we spent her time writing Bower to Heaven. Uh, you know, our priority really was to make a great album and mm. to be really proud of every single song and every moment on it. And we didn't really succumb to any pressure that was, come on, hurry up, get yeah, this yeah, out yeah, now. Yeah, we kind of, yeah. we, we will bring it out when we're ready, was kind of the way we worked it. You have a new album, you're putting the finishing touches to mm -hmm. a brand new album. Yeah. And it's all Irish songs, I believe. Yeah. We're like what? What's in there? Oh, there's there's lots. I mean, it isn't at the point where we've picked them all out yet. Or I mean, we've recorded them, but we've got many, um, like Lag and Love and oh. Peggy Gordon and beautiful, beautiful songs. So um, yeah, we've been doing that in the last 
months. Yeah. Okay. So for the future anyway, Andrew Carr, we're going to see in more movies and we're certainly going to see you along with the cars. Of course. Of course. The cars. The cars. <laughs> Lovely seeing you again. Nice to You're see you. are looking as beautiful as ever. Thank Andrew you. Carr, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Okay, now...